first question was regarding a habit that people have in their masjid where I come to the Imam and say, Akhi, my cousin died in Egypt. My uncle died in Morocco. My uh, a nephew died in Pakistan. So please make dua for them. They died yesterday. So the Imam's habit is to take hold of the microphone and say, uh, brother so-and-so had died yesterday and he is a relative of our friend so-and-so. May Allah Azza wa Jal expand his grave. May Allah Azza wa Jal put light in it. May Allah make it a garden of paradise. May Allah Azza wa Jal make it easy for him when he's questioned. And everybody says, Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. So is this a problem? Well, first of all, did the Prophet ﷺ ever announce this? No. When he used to go with his companions to burial, he would not even do congregational dua. What would he do? After burying him, he would say to them, seek forgiveness for your brother and ask Allah Azza wa for him to be steadfast because now he's being questioned. End of story. The Prophet did not make dua and the companion said, Ameen. Secondly, the Prophet وسلم, in some hadiths prohibited, and this is the vast majority of scholars' opinion, that it is not permissible to announce the death of individuals in public places. Meaning that we hold a microphone and say that Prince so-and-so had died. The ruler so-and-so had died. Scholar so-and-so had died. Just to announce it to people. Publicly in this fashion. This is not permissible. And likewise doing it in the masjid. This is not permissible. Maybe. The, the justification of the imam. Is that. Akhi, I'm using this incident. To remind people of death. And to draw them closer to Allah. Azzawajal. But. Your intention, though, is good, the means is not. And you are innovating because the Prophet had not done this, alayhi salatu So, annoying people every single week about this is not permissible. Now, another trend in some masjids is that they offer the funeral prayer for an absentee. Someone who's absent. So they say, my uncle died in London. And I can't go to witness the funeral. He was buried last week. So please, can we make... I said, yeah, yeah after Isha, inshallah, we make funeral prayer uh, uh, on a person who's absent. This is not permissible. Why, Sheikh, isn't uh, it is not permissible? Well, don't you know, Sheikh, that the Prophet, Islam performed the funeral uh, a prayer on the Najashi, the Abyssinian ruler, and he wasn't there. Yes, this was true. It was a single incident. And the scholars said that the Prophet ﷺ offered the funeral prayer because a Najashi did not have any Muslim around him. So when he died, though he is a Muslim, he was buried by non-Muslims. There were no other Muslim around him. So nobody offered the Salat to begin with. And hence, scholars say that whenever a deceased corpse has been prayed upon by Muslims, we cannot pray in other countries for that deceased. But if he was to die in a country and to be buried without the presence of any Muslim to give him his rights, funeral rights, in this case, yes, we can do that. And I hope this answers your question.